I mentioned this this other small club uh, in Group A. Let me make sure I got this pronunciation right. Uh, Barcelona. Oh, Barcelona right, right, 7, right. Rosengard nil. Another mm-hmm. dominating win for Barcelona. Another match that sees goals from five different Barcelona players and assists sure. from another four different players. Sure. Just absolutely unfair. I'm not sure what we can say about this team that hasn't been said, but I want to put a question forward to you before uh, before we jump in here. Is there any chance that these couple matches, these reverse fixture against Rosengard, could maybe have dulled the knife a little bit? Wow. And they, they might be catching a break because they still have two more matches before they go to the knockout. But they're going to play a Benfica side and a Frankfurt side that have just been through it. And I'm not sure what that's going to mean or if they're going to be when or what kind of form they're going to be in. But um, they have a couple more matches left against two sides that are absolutely battle tested just at max intensity. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see. There is a three week break in between. But is there any chance of this or am I just trying to ratchet up a little drama where there just isn't any? You know, I think as we talk about these matches we want to see drama i feel like we lived this with the kevin durant super team warriors where it's like i don't know like you know the the Cavs really get cooking like or like maybe james harden can figure it out in the playoffs maybe the rockets can knock him off um it doesn't seem like this knife gets dull they have all the nice sharpeners They, they care very much about the sharpness of their knives and man, are they deadly at every single space. Like wherever anybody is on the field, Carolyn Graham Hansen is going to make the perfect pass. Or she'll have a go at goal. And then you have Pettiuelo, who's out there, sprinting at you at 5,000 miles per hour. You mentioned it in the last show. During the World Cup, you said, I think she looks like Mbappe. And I fully admit, I was like, ooh, that's strong. And now I will fully admit, I was two weeks late to that take. You you, you beat me <laughs> to that one. I think when people look at the who the best player in the world is, you know, Bon Mati gets a, gets a lot of run. Caldente gets mentioned in that. Sam Kerr gets mentioned in that. You know, there are five or six other players who I'm missing who get mentioned in that. Hard to see how it's not better, Uelo. She's just too fast. You can't do anything. You can't do anything to stop her. She's big. She's fast. You always point out she's a world-class sprinter and she's way more skilled than everybody. I just don't know what any club is supposed to do. And I'll give Rosengard credit. They were hanging in there for a while, but then sometimes Barcelona just kicks down the door and you can't offer resistance anymore. You're absolutely right in the sense that the attack comes from anywhere and everywhere. And I also want to say, I mean, I'm with you on Barriuelo. She's she's probably the scariest player, That's you know, with maybe, the ball yeah. at her feet in the tournament, right? Like I think just seeing her on the other side, we went through it in the World Cup, I think, as well. Yes. She's just terrifying. But I don't feel like on this pod we've spoken enough about who I believe is the world's best player, Aitana Bomati. You're probably right. When you see the dance that she does for that first goal, you know, just runs up to the line and then scoots away from the line. And then just <laughs> nutmegs a defender with a pass, finds yeah. Akira Walsh, who wasn't even in the fucking frame of the video. <laughs> she just she came from a, a different laptop <laughs> onto my screen to just fucking bear. She just sees things that that nobody is seeing. Like That's she's true. just an absolute wizard. Her ball skills, tight spaces. She's just dominant. It's almost like, I don't even want to say, you know, it's messy like, but for stretches, you just, you kind of see a little bit of that in the sense that you're just not taking the ball from her and she'll just scoot around and dance around and do whatever she wants. She'll shoot, she'll pass, she'll get assists, she'll score goals. She's the best player we have, I think, in the women's game right now. If you're giving me a fantasy draft and you give me the first pick, that's my first pick. I mean, I think she's unbelievable. We spend so much time marveling at the depth of this team that we just kind of leapfrog. <laughs> like, who is, in my opinion, their best player? You know what? You've talked me off this a little bit because I, I get excited. And, you know, we talk about it. I, I readily admit when I watch baseball, when I watch football, I have the caveman brain of like somebody does something amazing, like super amazing, like physically crazy. And I'm just like, oh, that's the best. That's the thing I want. That's why I love Giannis and, yeah. and the NBA. And Peter Uelo fits that bill. I love the way you describe it. And I know, you know, comparing players to Messi is a tricky game. But with Bon Mati, it is almost easy to take it for granted because she's so omnipresent throughout the entire match. And at the same time, she's omnipresent to where you almost don't witness it. Like you don't notice it in real time. But she's also completely effervescent in the sense where she'll do a couple of things where it's like, holy crap. That's how that play got set up, huh? It was like somebody thinking four steps ahead of the rest of the defense. So, yeah, I think you've, you know, I love a good hyperbole. You know, I love a good overreaction. But yeah, Bon Mati, what am I going to argue against her being the best player in the world? 
You know what it reminds me of? For years and years, LeBron James, best player in the NBA. Sure. But you might tune into the NBA All-Star game and you might just see an eight or 10 minute stretch where LeBron doesn't really do anything because there's other great players and people are dunking (laughs) and people are shooting from half court. And and you're just like, yeah, LeBron, he looks all right, but he's with a lot of great players and he's not really that. I don't know. I don't don't see it, you know, but there's a little bit of that with this Barcelona team. They're so fucking loaded. You know, Claudia Pina, she (laughs) just just gets a whack. From, Dude. from a ridiculous distance. Graham Hansen, Salma Pariuela, she's on a hat trick for half the game. You just wonder what Bon Mati would look like if she's on like a Benfica side. You know, she's getting 70% of the touches, right? And she's just kind of dictating everything. And she doesn't have a bunch of all stars in every single other position. So it's almost like she doesn't have to do so much of this. But the fact that she's on this Barcelona team and on the Spanish national team, it's almost like we don't even get to see how great she, she really is except for these little flashes. 100%. So let me just, uh, you know, I've talked about the NWSL rights deal, how it's going to raise the salary cap, how it's going to do anything. Let me just say, you know, Aitana, Seattle is a beautiful place to live. We're down a a winger. Uh, You know, the salary cap's going to go up. I don't know. I mean, you know, we're looking for, we're looking for players. If you want to kind of show out a little more, I mean, we could, we could get you the national showcase. We're going to have the nationally televised games. And then I will then immediately turn to the ownership group pay up. Let's go. Like who's going to be the first million dollar a year player in the, in the NWSL. Wow. I would hope it would be one of these super elite players that we might be able to snatch from Europe. Still just 25 years old. Unbelievable. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, <laughs> anything else to cover this one? Barcelona Rosengard or group a more generally? I just want to say like respect to Rosengard. You do what you can against this side. Angel Mukasa, what are you going to do at that point? She's left vulnerable in a lot of different spots, and I don't think she's necessarily left vulnerable by bad defending. We talked at length of all the superstar players on Barcelona. You know, Rosengard, you got to be able to play within yourself so you don't lose a match 11 to nothing in some of these circumstances. So room to grow for them, but they're a good side, and uh, I look forward to watching more of their matches as the tournament plays out. I mean, sort of tough when you face 42 shots and 21 shots on target from the Barcelona side. It's pretty ridiculous. I mean, what is what is Mikasa supposed to do? She's had a good tournament. She's a good she's a good goalkeeper. Absolutely. We talked about this Rosengard side too, just kind of like being at the end of their season, long season for them. They're gonna be looking forward to this uh this much needed break. And I think we'll see them again. For sure. All right, man. I think we did it. This has been another episode of Into the Channel. Follow us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you like to watch or listen. Ratings and reviews, always appreciated. At ITC underscore pod on X, at Into the Channel pod on threads. Big thank you to my co-host, Mr. Grant Engel, for delivering on this reverse fixture week. You know, when you step into the reverse fixture, you got to have a lot of great players. So one more quick shout out to great friends of the pod, Per Arna over in Bergen, Norway, cheering on Braun. Thank you for the videos. Thank you for the support watching. And Tia over in, in Sweden, helping us with the pronunciations. We appreciate you guys. Just hit us up. Let us know. Are we screwing up the pronunciations of your favorite players? We'll make sure that we get it right for the next time. So we appreciate the whole squad coming through. Absolutely. Shout out Cohen as well, who was checking in from in the stadium or he was on his way to the stadium and obviously got a chance to witness a big win for their squad. It's awesome. And yeah, we appreciate you guys. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.